Hello everybody, it's me, Sung Won, and today it's time to open up another Japan Crate. Thank you very much, Japan Crate, for sending this. And also, uh, I have a new uh, referral link and a coupon for you guys. So if you use the link below in the description and the code PROZD, you will get $3 off your first Japan Crate Premium Crate, which is what this is. And uh, yeah, so if you are interested in Japan Crate, You've seen all my Japan Crate videos, and you're like, man, I don't want one. Uh, now is your chance. Anytime you use the code, it helps support me, so thank you in advance if you do, and I hope you enjoy your goodies. Alright, let's open this up. We got a good... we got the good stuff in here. So this looks like a... looks like they're rice cakes of some kind, like some kind of green tea rice cakes. Looks like it's a do-it-yourself thing, so I'll make those in a different video. Um... These are... where are these? I don't see instructions for this, so... We'll see how it goes, but it looks like they're some kind of rice cake. Um, it's kind of mochi thing. So I'll probably just email, uh, Japan Crate and be like, uh, what is this? But, uh, I'll probably make this in a separate video, if I get the instructions for it. Alright, next up it looks like some kind of grapefruit snack. These are grapefruit and orange noto ame. Uh... Okay, so they're, they're hard candies. They're like orange and grapefruit. I'll try one of each. So here's a grapefruit. They look like this. Which tastes like a grapefruit. I'm not actually like a huge grapefruit, bleh, grapefruit fan, but these are pretty good. And now let's try an orange one. They got kind of like a minty aftertaste a little bit. This is like, um, not like the strongest orange flavor, but it's more subtle. But pretty good. I enjoy having hard candies around just to um, eat while I'm working on stuff, so I got a whole bag of them now, so that's great. Next up we have this little ninja man, and he's looking at a, a red ball. This is Kakushi Umedama. Oh, so Ume is a sour pickled plum. They start out sweet and slowly reveal a sour Ume interior. I don't know if I like that. Ume is good in like onigiri, but... I, apparently it's supposed to be like kind of like a joke candy. It's not that sweet, actually. A very faint sugary flavor. Okay, here we go. I actually like it so far. It's getting sour, but kind of in a good way because these candies are very, not very flavorful when you first um, start eating them. That was much better than I anticipated. Um, when you actually get to the sour part, it's more kind of like an American sour candy. Like, there is still a sweetness, which, I mean, pickled plums are sweet, but, um, they're usually a lot more pungent and, like, kind of salty. But no, this is just kind of like a sweet sour candy. It's almost like, it's supposed to be like a prank for a Japanese candy, but actually the inside tastes better than the outside. Alright, next up we got this little dog teacher. He's teaching his students. Oh, it's cute. This is Animal Lesson. Oh, it's cute. Animal Lesson Choco. Cute and soft biscuits with a melty chocolatey center. I like this little... I like this little duck guy. Quack. I'm ready for school. Okay. They have a very interesting scent. Kind of chocolatey, kind of almost... <laughs> I don't want to say dusty, but... Kind of. Mmm. Oh, those are really good. Like they said in the description, the chocolate is very melty, which I like. The outside's like those... You know, those like panda crackers or whatever. Just kind of like a um, not very remarkable sort of grainy cookie. But the inside has that nice melty chocolate. These are good. Very satisfying. Next up we have this anime girl. She's we got grapefruit in her hair or lemon. She's upset about something. Why the hell are you eating me, baka? These are <laughs> Sundermon gum. Wow, that's a great... It's a great name. So it's a super tart lemon gum, and it turns sweet the more you chew on it. Aha! Very clever. So let's have some sundere gum. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it'd be. Yeah, initially there's this big burst of sour, but it's kind of like a sweet sour. There's almost like some kind of like crystallized sugar or something in here. But it tastes good. It's not like a warhead where it's like nasty. Like, it's very... Sour, but sweet. Kind of like a really strong lemonade. And as you chew it, like they said, it's coming- it's becoming dead, eh? Oh, how- how sweet. Pretty good. That's pretty good gum. I'm glad it's not too sour, because otherwise I probably wouldn't- I wouldn't chew them. But, since they're- it's like- it's like just the right amount of sweetness with that sour kick. Oh, and on the back, she's like, Oh, I'm Cinderella. Here's a present. I- I- but I don't- I like you 
anything! So here's the drink. Ooh, this is a big drink. This is um double sparkling yuzu and lemon. Ooh. Yuzu is a popular citrus fruit. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's not what I was expecting. Um, there is a lemony flavor, and there's almost like a grassy note to it. Um not bad. Uh, not like overly sweet. I don't know what yuzu tastes like, but it's kind of like a grassy, lemony, very, very subtle lemon soda. But pretty good. It's refreshing. Next up we got puree. Puree gummy. Puree gummy puchi sankaku lemon. Uh, it's a chewy gummy that tastes like a refreshing lemonade. Ooh. A lot of lemony stuff in this in this box. This packaging is very weird. It's like a little pyramid. Oh, so there's a couple in here. Um, and here's one. Not. It's very soft, so it's very easy to bite through. Good balance of sour and sweet. Not nearly as sour as these sundere gums. But there's. It is. I guess more on the sour end. I'd say it's like right in the middle, but slightly more sour. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. Very soft gummies. Here's a, a little face wand. I see Anpan Man on there. This is a Anpan Man Pero Pero Chocolate Lollipop. Oh, okay. So you could, I could have gotten Anpan Man, but I said I got this girl. I don't know who's... Girl Pan and Anpan Girl. I don't know who, who the hell this is, but it's cute. It really is almost too cute to eat. Like, look at that. Look at that pleasing ass design. All right, here we go. I think it's just straight up chocolate. I think this might be white chocolate and chocolate, and I'm not sure if the pink parts are like strawberry or something. I've murdered Anpan Girl. I'm trying to bite the pink parts off. I think they are strawberry, but it could be just be my mind pulling tricks on me. This is very good. I've had similar candies with like the cookie, like those panda, those panda chocolate cookies, um, where it's like a panda face on top of a like a cracker, and this is the same kind of quality of chocolate. It's really good chocolate. Rest in pieces. Next up, we got these little children, and it looks like they're probably um, some kind of grape heart candy. These are Sakuranbo no. Oh, these are cherry. Oh, I guess that makes sense. They look like cherries in the front, although they're like purple, really purple. Sakuranbo no Uta. These have a unique, smooth cherry taste with a small hint of creamy goodness, reminiscent of a holiday cherry pie with a dollop of whipped cream. That's probably the most satisfying description I've ever heard. Let's see if it can live up to it. Look like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really care for cherry candies that much. I guess there's a creaminess, maybe, but I don't know. The artificial cherry taste is so strong that, like, not even strong, but like, it, it, like it's like all I can taste, really. I think part of it is because, you know, when you're a kid, or when I was a kid at least, you had like all the medicines tasted like cherry. And so I think I associate that with artificial cherry flavor now. Not bad though. I'm, not, I'm I'm making these out to sound like they're really bad. They're not. They're actually pretty good for what they are. I'm just not a big cherry guy. I don't really taste the creaminess, so disappointment. But pretty good. If you like cherry, you'll like these. Next up, we have. Uh, it looks like a cola straw of some kind. This is long cola gum. It's the perfect alternative to an icy glass of cola. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's like a light flavor, but it does somehow manage to capture the kind of refreshing taste of cola. I said this before, but I wish we got on board with like cola flavored stuff, like snacks, because I think cola flavor is just very nice and refreshing. Here's a Caplico Mini. Um, I've had Caplico before, but uh, I don't know if I've had the specific one. It is a light and fluffy replacement for ice cream cones crunchy wafer cones with light airy chocolate and this one is strawberry which is the one i would have wanted anyway so good yep, it's a little ice cream cone oh there's some chocolate in there too i love japanese strawberry like creamy like how, what they how they flavor their frostings and stuff whoops well, this is very satisfying the chocolate is really airy like um almost just kind of melts in your mouth. Now, having it in a cone like this makes you feel like I'm eating like a drumstick, like an ice cream drumstick, which is very satisfying. Very light, crispy, but good strawberry flavor. This is, looks like some kind of sweet potato thing. Yakimo Yokan. It's a roasted sweet potato flavored gelatin dessert. 
Oh, interesting. It's very kind of uh, bouncy, rubbery. So it's kind of like a gelatin almost. Hmm, good, but it's weird. It's like, um, it's basically like a gelatin almost. Sweet potato flavor is quite accurate. I'm not in love with this, but it's interesting. That texture is really, it's weird to eat it, like have that sweet potato flavor with this specific texture. I've seen these corn guys before. It's corn, corn family. And generally these are very good. This is Morokoshi Wataro. Um, crispy corn puffs, lightly salted. Okay, so these, I guess these are just salt. Yeah, these big bold puffs. All over the, there's some kind of flavoring on these. I don't think these are just salted. It's got almost like a tangy, slightly barbecue taste. And it's got that good puff that really dissolves with that nice chew. These are quite good. I always am a fan of these. Next up we have Tohado Harvest. They're, they look like some kind of cracker. Harvest Biscuit, oh, matcha flavor. Oh, interesting. I thought these were gonna be like savory, but it looks like they are green tea flavored. So they come in little packages of four, it looks like. Well, oh, they're very thin. Very thin, very crispy. You know, I'm not as big into green tea flavor stuff as everybody else is. Um, but these are pretty good. It's just interesting having such a, having a green tea flavor with this very thin, very crispy biscuit. Um, it's an interesting combination. I think I like the texture more than the flavor, but the flavor is good. I mean, it's green tea, so. Um, and I like green tea. So if you like green tea, you'll like these a lot. But I really like how crispy they are. And actually, as I'm eating these more and more, I'm getting more, more into them. Again, light and crispy. Oh man, it just, something about the texture. Just makes it so you get, like just cannot stop eating them. And finally, oh yeah, my favorite umaibo, umai, umaiwa vegetable salad flavor. Oh, so it's supposed to taste like a garden salad with plenty of dressing. Ooh, I love umaibo. That's they're usually they're probably my favorite Japanese snack ever. So I'm always excited to eat these. Every time I see this little guy, I'm like I'm gonna have a good time. Okay, look like this. I don't think that tastes like a salad. I'm not sure what this is supposed to taste like. Got some spices and stuff. They're good, but they don't taste like a salad to me. They're just kind of tangy and savory. They kind of taste like these, except I actually like these better. These are good. They're, it's just kind of like a tangy, savory flavor. Not really, not really that pronounced. These are much stronger flavor. So I'm gonna say that these are my favorite snack of the box. Although, um, what else did I like? This calpico was very satisfying. And, uh, yeah, I like these too, so. But I will say that the uh, Morikoshi Wataro snacks are my favorite this round. All right, guys, that was this month's Japan Crate. Um, if you want to get a Japan Crate of your own, there's a link in the description below. And if you use the referral link and the code coupon code PROZD, you'll get $3 off your first Japan Premium Crate. So uh, check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.